All right, hello everyone. My name is Emily and I'm going to be your instructor for today. Our class is going to be level two to level three functional fitness. There is going to be no music playing in the background, so feel free to play your own as we exercise. For our warm up today, we are going to start standing. Let's just go ahead and start by marching in place here. You do have the option to do all of these warm up moves seated as well. And now let's bring it into some torso twists. Alternating side steps, just going back and forth from side to side. Shoulder rolls forward. And now reverse, roll those shoulders back. Hamstring curls. You can also pull those arms back as we curl that heel up towards the bottom. Arms out to the side, small arm circles forward. Reverse, circle those arms back. And now let's bring it into some heel days, just press those hands down. Do some alternating overhead reach, reach across the body up towards that opposite shoulder. Let's do one more on each side. Now we're bringing into a wide knee march. So those knees are up just a little wider than what they were before for that regular march. Feel free to pump those arms as we march it out as well. Relax that march. Let's bring it into a reach and pull with those arms. I'm just hinging forward from the hips as I reach those arms forward and then stand up right as you pull those arms back.
One more. Let's now bring it into a punch and kick, opposite arm and his leg, working on that full extension forward, going back and forth. One more. Side leans. So we just hinge from side to side. Keep those shoulders back. Toe tap back. Opposite arm will reach forward. Two more. Shoulder shrugs. We just go straight up and down with those shoulders. Bring them up towards the ears and then let them relax down. One more. We'll now bring it into double side steps. So we're going to do two steps towards one side and then two to the other. Just take your time. If two is too many, you can just go back to that single alternating side step. Let's do this one more time in each direction. Nice work. Head tilts from side to side. You lean that ear towards your shoulder. Just rotate back and forth. Take your time going from side to side. One more. Next, we're going to bring it into a side toe tap. We just sway those arms from side to side and swing them to the same side as that toe tap. Get those feet hip width apart. We're going to go up on those toes. Be careful as we rock back on the heels. So we have that heel to toe rock. If you need to hold on to the chair or the wall nearby, feel free to do so. Let's do two more. All right, we're going to march it out. We're going to add in those speed bag arms going forward. Circle back. And relax. We're going to bring it into some ankle circles. I suggest having your hand on the chair or leaning against the wall. I'm going to circle out that foot. Reverse. And switch sides. Same thing. Again, holding onto the chair or the wall if needed. And reverse direction. Put that foot 
down. We're going to bring it into our duck and punch. So this is where you hinge forward from the hips. As you bring it, your body up, you're going to punch one arm forward. You hinge forward again and then punch with the opposite arm. So as you hinge forward, you'll feel a slight pull through the back of the legs. Still just trying to warm up those hamstrings a little bit. Two more. Let's bring those arms out to the sides, palms forward, pulse those arms forward. And palms back, pulse back. Modified jumping jack. So we're going to step out to the side, arms come up, you step in, arms come down. And then we step over to the opposite side. Take your time here. Let's do two more. All right, let's bring it back into those heel digs. This time we're gonna press those arms forward. Bring it into a toe tap back, press those hands down. Two more. Then we have our side toe tap. This time, arms go to the opposite side. And last but not least, punch and kick. Same side arm as leg alternating back and forth. Let's see two more. And relax. All right, this time that completes our warm up. You will need one weight for our workout today and we are going to start seated. All right, so our first exercise while seated is called a bent over row. I am just going to turn to the side so it's easier for you to see my form. So we have that weight in one hand. We are going to hinge forward from the hips. And as you can see, my arm is extended down by my side. I'm gonna pull the weight up towards my shoulder and then let the arm relax down. Breathe out as you pull the arm up and then breathe in as you let it relax. Squeeze that elbow in by your side so you can really target those muscles behind your shoulder blade and into that mid to low back. Let's do three more. Last one. Go ahead, sit up. And we're going to switch hands again. I'm just going to turn towards the opposite side so it's easier for you to see me doing this move. We're going to hinge forward again. Weights in one hand. We pull up and let the arm relax down. Again, breathe out as you pull the arm up. Breathe in as you let it relax. Keeping that shoulder blade relaxed and driving that elbow straight back. Two more. 
can go ahead and sit up. Our next exercise, we have crunches. So you'll want to be on the front edge of your chair. Weight's going to be at the chest. We just hinge back and sit forward, keeping those feet planted on the ground. Inhale back. Exhale as you sit forward, trying your best to avoid the backrest on the chair. Almost there. Let's do three more. Last one. We're going to walk those feet out just a little bit. Put that weight in one hand. We're going to do an upright row. So we're going to lead with the elbow as we pull the weight up towards the chest. And then let the arm relax down. Exhale as we pull the arm up. Inhale as the arm extends down. Kind of like having a chicken wing as we pull that elbow out towards the side. Two more. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. Same exact thing, lead with the elbow, and then let the arm relax down. Breathe out as we pull up with the weight. Breathe in as we let it relax down by the side or right to the center. Two more. And relax, walk those feet in. Both hands go back onto the weight. We're now going to do Russian twists. You're going to have a slight hinge back from the hips so that core is engaged. And we're going to rotate that weight from side to side. Just make sure you breathe through the exercise here. Try not to hold your breath. And do your best to avoid the backrest on the chair to keep those core muscles engaged the entire time. Already halfway through, keep it up. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. All right, this time we are going to stand up and we're still going to use the weight for a few more exercises. Go ahead and take your time. I'll give you a couple more seconds here to get situated. I do suggest standing either off to the side or just behind your chair. We are going to start with squats. So if you're uncomfortable with these, you can stand right in front. So if your legs get tired, you can just sit right down into the chair. So what we're going to do, those feet start hip width apart, toes are straight ahead. We're just going to keep the weight right at the chest. You're going to bend at the knees, pressing those hips back, and then you're going to come up out of the squat position. Inhale as we bring the hips down. Exhale as we come up out of the squat. There's a few more to go. Try your best to keep the weight back on the heels. Let's do two more. And relax. All right, let's put that weight in one hand. We're gonna do some weighted side leans. So we're gonna to hinge to the side with a slight lean over to the opposite. Inhale as you lean to the side with the weight. Exhale as you have a slight lean over to the opposite side. Two more to go. All right, switch hands with the weight. Same exact thing. Slight hinge over to the side. And then lean over to the opposite. Try and keep those shoulders back to maintain a good posture. Inhale to the side with the weight. Exhale to the opposite side.
two more. All right, we're gonna walk those feet so they're about hip width apart again, toes are straight ahead. We're now gonna do our deadlift. So this is where we're gonna have a very slight bend in the knees, both hands are on the weight. We're going to hinge forward from the hips, keeping the back flat, and then we're just gonna bring it straight up. As you come up, we'll then transition into a frontal raise. So again, slight hinge forward, slight knee, bend in those knees, bring it up, frontal raise. Inhale forward, and exhale as we bring that weight up. Keep it up. As you hinge forward, you should feel this in the back of the legs. If not, think about pressing that bottom back a little more. Almost there. Let's do three more. Breathe in and breathe out as we stand up and bring it into the frontal raise. Last one. Nice work. All right, let's put that weight in one hand. We're now going to bring it into a hammer curl to an overhead press. So you're going to curl the weight to the shoulder, press up overhead, and then let the arm relax down by the side. So we curl, press up, relax down. Nice job, keep it up. Breathe out as we curl, press up to the ceiling. Breathe in as we let the arm relax. We have two more to go. Last one. All right, switch sides. Same thing, hammer curl up, press up overhead, and then relax. Exhale as we curl and press. Inhale as we let the arm relax down. Three more to go. Last one. All right, you can just put that weight off to the side. We are gonna do a few balance exercises yet, so you can stay standing. I'm just gonna stand off to the side. I do suggest standing right behind the chair or right next to the wall so you have something to hold on to. We're just gonna start off with some weight shifts from side to side. You can let the toes of the opposite foot just stay on the ground or if you wanna challenge yourself you can pick the foot up, but only do that if you're comfortable. And relax. Let's now bring it into our tandem stance. So this is where you're going to stand heel to toe, either foot forward is fine. I want you to focus on a good posture, keep those shoulders back. Make sure the weight is evenly distributed between the two feet. We're just gonna hold this position here. We're halfway already, keep it up. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go ahead and bring that opposite foot forward. Same exact thing, tandem stance. Make sure that weight is evenly distributed. Shoulders back, engage that core. That will help stabilize your body. Already halfway. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out just a little bit. Last but not least, let's do that one leg stand. So we're gonna focus on balancing on one leg. If that is too much, you can keep the toes of the opposite foot on the ground, just as like a kickstand. Otherwise, feel free to balance on one foot. Still maintain that good posture. Halfway there. Five, 
four, three, two, one. Walk it up just slightly, and we're gonna switch it over to the opposite side. Go ahead and begin. Again, you can just keep the toes on the ground if that's more comfortable for you, or you can pick that foot all the way up. Halfway. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out. All right, at this time, you can go ahead and take a seat. We'll bring it into some stretches. Just take your time. I'll give everyone a few seconds here to get situated. We're going to start off with our hamstring stretch. We'll bring one foot forward on the heel. We're going to drive those toes up towards the ceiling. Same side arm, you can reach straight ahead. Or if you're comfortable, you can reach down towards those toes. You should feel this stretch through the back of the leg. Just focus on some nice deep breathing. Slowly sit up, bring that foot in. Let's now switch it over to the opposite side. Again, drive those toes up, same side arm, can reach straight ahead, or you can reach down towards those toes. You should feel the stretch through the back of the leg. It is okay if you can't touch your toes, don't force it, but really try and keep that leg as straight as you can. Sit up, bring your foot in. Let's now bring it into our spinal twist. We're going to turn to look over our shoulder and just hold that position. Switch sides. Turn back to the center. Let's reach those arms for the backrest of the chair. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Get a nice stretch through the chest. And now let's reverse direction. Hands together. Press your arms forward. Round out your back. Bring your chin to the chest. Relax those arms. Let's end with a few deep breaths. Inhale, bring those arms up. Exhale down. Deep breath in. And out. And one more. Nice big deep breath in. And out. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Wonderful job.